Carter. Travis, boy, do you remember? Travis, have you lost your mind? Travis, never lose direction. A popular stop any time of year is Gilligan's Drive-In, especially on Mondays during the cruise-ins and bike night on Wednesdays. Whether people stop in for their famous charbroiled burgers or their homemade ice cream, everyone seems to love Gilligan's. Gilligan's has been here since the 1950s. You come down here, it has that old-fashioned flavor to it. It also has my very favorite ice cream, Cherry Almond Jubilee. There are some 33 flavors, including one that was created by Colgate students called the, uh, what's it called? Raider Passion, and it is yellow cake and Oreo cookies. Unbelievable. Mm. It is now run by Mike and Andy, the Lego brothers. When you come here, be sure to also have one of their charbroiled burgers out of this world. Obviously, it's not just my favorite because they sell about 15,000 burgers a year here, and they're open year round. So if you have a hankering for soft serve, even in February, you can come down here and have some. I was just talking to Andy and I asked him if people come down here today, what kind of a special could he offer? And he told me, come down here, order anything at all off of the menu, and he will give you a free small cone. Lord knows I don't have a lot But you can have what I've got And sometimes I'm prone to believe All that I ever had was you And though I long to stay in my easy chair Search for hope but there's none that's there Got these walls, all I can do is stare. Log homes have always held a special place in American home building, from the early pioneers to today's modern homes. Lock and Logs Log Homes began in Sherburne almost 35 years ago, bringing the log home living experience to families all over the country and the world. Well, I come from a family of sawmillers and building supply retailers and builders and farmers, and we always have been innovative. I joined them out of business college, and then I had a chance to pr provide the logs and timbers for Fort Stanwix up in Rome, New York, back in 1975. And that's really how I got involved in log homes. I decided if I could do forts, I could do log homes. So we've been doing them ever since, and we have log homes on four continents and 42 of the U.S. states and we're one of the leading innovators in the United States or the world for that matter in, in log home manufacturing. Design wise, you name it, we can do it. I mean, the log is a basic building block if you think about it, Sherry, and we have done be big, beautiful homes like this. We've done small, innovative things. We've done commercial buildings. We have three dormitory buildings and a fresh air camp in England, which I'm very proud of. Uh, we have uh, four or seven, four or five fish camps on the, on the, on the coast of Africa uh, that are very unique houses. So, uh, and we have uh, flower shops and so on and so forth. But mostly uh, people come to us and, and with their dreams on paper, maybe it came out of a magazine, maybe they adapted one of our plans. But we built our business around being able to look at each customer as a unique individual and build the house that they wanted. There are two kinds of people I divide uh, population into, those that have a log home and those that want one. Uh, log homes are very attractive. Uh, they're unique and they're, if they're built well, they're very efficient. Certainly, um, they, they aren't all built well, um, but most of ours, if they're properly done, hold up very well, heat very well, maintain very well, and resell very well. But mostly, I think it's the uniqueness that attracts our customers more than anything. It's a feeling that they're buying. It's not, I mean, the house doesn't move. It doesn't, it doesn't mow your lawn for you. It doesn't cook your food. It's there and it looks good, keeps you warm, keeps the rain off you, but 
it's really uh, and that's no different than on, than a tent and if you think about it but this is a unique product that that just about everybody loves when they come in I mean the way we do it with the uh, gracious logs overhead it's really a cathedral look is, is one of our most popular features if you look at the uh, uh, rafters over your head it really does give you the sense of, of uh, coming into a cathedral and it's a very peaceful place to live We head into the hills to the peaceful Quarry Brook Farms, where farmer Adam cares for the animals and the land that once belonged to his grandfather. His goal is to grow nutrient-dense, pure food for his neighbors, while enriching and sustaining the agro-ecosystem. Well, I've been uh, farming full-time since 2007, and we have always had animals that we raised here for ourselves. Um, as my dad has raised the animals, uh, beef cattle primarily since um, in the 70s, and I was have grown up on this farm. Uh, uh, we raise certified naturally grown, 100% uh, grass-fed beef and lamb, and certified naturally grown pasture-raised pork, chicken, eggs, and produce. I do most of my uh, sales through direct marketing, that is sales right to the community, uh, typically at farmers markets. Um, as I learned more and more about um, the food in general, I felt it was, um, we're provided, people are not provided the food that they need and if I can grow as much nutrient dense organic food as I can and get it to the local community, I felt it was what I would need to do. Adam would like to be your farmer. You can visit him at the Hamilton Farmers Markets on Saturdays from 8 to 1, or visit the farm in person or online at quarrybrookfarms.com. We'll be back to learn more about Sherburn on next week's show. Traveling round.